Well, hello everybody. I'm Pastor Glory. I want to welcome you all to my scope. <clears throat> Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. I've got some devotionals I want to read tonight. I'm going to read out of the Word. So, um, God bless you all. I'm going to say, I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer and also say a prayer for uh, Houston. Such a terrible thing. Speed of Sound 24, join. Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. And God bless you. Now, if I miss some of, the, if, if if I don't answer some of the comments, then you'll have to you'll have to excuse me. But I'm going to be be reading from the Bible and reading my devotionals. So I love you guys very very much. We're going to do the Lord's prayer. Let's do the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil, Lord. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And I want also want to do a special shout out to Yvette, my, my dear sister Yvette. I love you very much. I watched your your scope. What a wonderful, wonderful scope. And. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to sing a song, just a closer walk with thee. I'm going to try to sing at least some of it. My allergies are acting up tonight, but I'm going to try to sing at least some of it, okay? So, I love you guys. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me. From all wrong, I'll be satisfied as long as I walk, dear Lord, close to Thee, just a closer walk. With thee, granted Jesus, this my plea daily walking close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safely o'er to thy shores, dear Lord, to thy shores. Just a closer walk with Thee. Granted, Jesus, this my plea. Daily walking close to Thee. Let it be, dear Lord. Let it be, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I love that song. I love that song. Yeah, I'm on scope. I'm on scope. That's my baby Amelia born in two weeks. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. A brand new, a brand new birth, brand new birth. That's absolutely wonderful. Praise God, Hallelujah. Praise God, Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. 
Jack Sparrow, 80616. I'm glad that you joined. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. Well, thank you very much for the hearts. Thank you very much for the hearts. And um, I'm going to, to read my devotionals. I'm going to read my devotionals first. I already, did the Lord, I already did the Lord's Prayer. I'm a little bit late getting on here today or tonight because I've been in deep thought, deep prayer all day for the ones in Texas. And um, it, again, people think, you know, uh, or people say, you know, it's like a broken record. You know, we get on here and we, we preach doom, doom and gloom and all that. It's warnings. It's warnings to try to warn the, the people. Oh, beautiful super hearts. Well, thank you very much. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Thank you so very, very much. Always hearts for Jesus. It's not to glorify me. It's to glorify my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. God is one, two, one, one, two, three. Join. Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. But I'm going to read my, <clears throat> first I'm going to read my devotionals, and then I'm going to read out of the Lord's, out of God's Word. <clears throat> so if you bear with me here, bear with me. I'm going to read my devotionals. Experiencing God day by day. That's my first one I'm going to read out of. Today is the 28th. Hope I can read this. I've got my my reading glasses on. I got me some pretty different colored ones. And and as most of you know that knows me, purple is my favorite color. So, all right, I'm gonna try to read try to read this. August the 28th. August the 28th. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Purple. Yes, I love purple. And purple is, uh, is royalty. Purple is royalty from my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the, God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to, now this book is fairly new, but some of the words are blurry in this book anyway. So I'm going to try to read it without putting my other glasses on but if I can't I'll have to switch glasses so all right the title of this is open doors and adversaries a wide door for affection ministry effective ministry has has opened for me yet many oppose me but many oppose me all right I'm gonna have to put the other glasses on what drew you to Jesus what made you believe I've always believed in Jesus. I was raised up. I was raised up. And I, the Lord has taken me through a lot through the years. He's taken me through a lot. He's taken me through a lot. Now, then we're going to do this again. I like to wear my pretty my pretty glasses, my other glasses, you know, too. Because, like I said, it's royalty. It's royalty. <clears throat> All right, let's start this one over. While I'm reading, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these glasses here on. I'm I'm very funny about you know certain things you know and Jesus Magnus 2017 joined well hello I'm glad you joined God bless you God bless you I'm starting to read my devotionals reading my devo you you never did tell me what your name was by the way you never did tell me what your name was and thank you for the pretty hearts and hearts for Jesus always hearts for Jesus so. I'm going to read, I'm Brad. Okay, well hello, well, hello Brad. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Hello Gloria, yes. Jesus Magnus, what is your name? What is your name? I want to be able to, to call you by your name. Bless you, and bless you too. Yegar Lady J joined. Well, good evening, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to read my devotions. <coughs> no, my allergies have been acting up. Mark Brown, bless join. Well, good evening, Mark. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. Hello, sis. Well, hello there, Lady J. Hello. Welcome to my scope. I'm going to be reading my devotionals. I never can get situated right. Magnus Sandberg. Oh, your name is Magnus. Okay, Sandberg. And you're from Sweden. That's right. Well, that's, that is awesome. That is a really awesome name. I like that name. Magnus. I like that. All right, we're going to read, now we're going to read the devotionals. And like I said earlier, 
Um, if I don't see the comments, I'll be reading. Where are you from, Pastor? I am from Illinois. I'm from Illinois. For right now, I live in Illinois, and we, we may be moving south soon. We don't know for sure. Wherever the Lord leads, New York here. Wow, wow. I have a very dear friend, Yvette. Yvette is, is from downstate New, New York. So, all right, now I'm going to read my devotions. I don't want to make this scope too long. See your Apostle Dennis join. Well, hello, or Denise, Dennis. Well, hello. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. Okay, I'll, I'll have to I'll have to go back over and copy that down. Bless you, sister. Well, bless you too. Bless you too. Like I said, I'm going to be reading my reading my. I'm going to get comfortable. I'm going to read my devotionals. Fix my my cross. All right. This is bless you for broadcasting. Well, getting the spreading the word, spreading the word, and thank you. It's it's all for Jesus, a witness to witness for Jesus, our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. So that, again, this book is experiencing God day by day. That's that's this one. Amen. Yes. Amen. And again, thank you for the heart. So I'm going to read. I'm going to read this. Open doors and adversaries. Gloria is a rock in faith. Oh. Well, Jesus, it's all about, again, it's all about Jesus. And if it wasn't for Jesus, we can do all things through Christ. And if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't be on here. I wouldn't be on here. I, my YouTube channel, Jesus is the Answer, Gloria Drummond, that's my YouTube channel. And I've had that now for, for about over a little over four years. Glory be to God. Yes, yes. Dane245 joined. Well, hello, Dane. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. Yes, amen. People's coming in. Okay, now, I, now I don't mean to ignore anybody, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to read my devotionals. I don't want to make this scope too awful long because it's late. I've, it's been a long day. But I knew I wanted to get on here tonight. The old devil tried to make me be sleepy earlier, like whispering in my ear, saying, oh, you're too tired. You're too tired to go on scope. You're too tired. Yeah, that's what he does. Mr. T. Harris joined well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope, and God bless you. So, anyway, I'm going to read my devotionals. So, I, I'm not meaning to ignore anybody. I thought, oh, thanks for staying awake. Well, I knew the old devil wasn't going to win, because, like I've said before, and if you if you, if you you follow me, you'll, you'll find that out. Every, what I say, the devil seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. The three Ds, distractions, disruptions, and destroy distractions disruptions and destroy yes all right here we go open doors and adversaries a wide door for effective ministry has opened for me yet many oppose me prophetess tina 1978 join well good evening prophetess i'm pastor gloria welcome to my scope and god bless you i'm reading i'm going to read my devotionals uh, welcome to my welcome to my scope. Good evening. Good evening. Beauty from Ashes joined. Well, hello, honey. I know you've done some scopes today. I've been busy. I've been gone most of the day. I'm so glad you joined, honey. I'm, I'm going to read. I'm starting to read my devotional. Are you just about done? No, I just I just started a few minutes ago, honey. I just started a few minutes ago. I started. I sang just a closer walk with thee at the beginning, and I already did the Lord's Prayer. So now. Okay, I shall invite. All righty, honey. I love you. I love you. I'm very proud of you, by the way. I'm very proud of you. Oh, yeah. And, and when I when I asked you the other night on, on your scope, everybody's coming in. Thank you for coming in. You are such a, a beautiful woman of God. Oh, well, thank you, honey. And you are, you are, too. I love you so much, Gloria. And I love you, too. I love you, too. But when I ask you if you, if you knew uh, Tanya Tucker, everybody's coming in. Thank you, honey. I'm proud of you, too. If you knew Tanya Tucker, and evidently you didn't know who I was talking about, she was a country singer, um, and a song came to me, um, Delta Dawn. And if you go, if you go on YouTube, uh, on the YouTube channel, find Tanya Tucker. Uh, now I don't know why that song came to me for you, um, Nicole. And thank you for the beautiful hearts, super hearts. Thank you, and hearts for Jesus, hearts, hearts for Jesus. But Tanya Tucker, and the name of it is Delta Dawn. 
Now that song came to me, the Lord gave, that song came to me a few days ago for you, uh, Nicole. And thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful hearts. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. So now I'm going to get back to reading my, my devotional. I'm going to start it again. Yeah, I have heard that laugh aloud on Friends, the TV show. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know whether, whether you can identify with that song. I don't know, honey, but it seemed like the Lord gave that, get, said that to me. Gave The Holy Spirit said that was for you. So I have no idea why, honey. Maybe you will know. Maybe you will know. So, I mean, he, he does that. Ashes, all oh, thanks. He does that. Michael joined. Well, hello. My son-in-law just joined. Michael Reger. I thought you was asleep, sweetie. I was out here getting my things ready to go on Broken Wing by Martina McBride. That's a good one, too. Yes, I was like Martina McBride. I'm going to scope soon about abuse. Okay, y'all, like I said, I saw your scopes meeting him in the mansion in the sky. Yes, yes. And back in the 70s when I used to sing with the band, I used to do Tanya Tucker. I used to sing Tanya Tucker's songs back in the 70s when I was with, when I was with the band. Yes. And Hot Sauce 823, that would be Ryan, I think. I want my followers to come in. To, to come in, boo. Wow. Everybody's coming in. My, 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 my. And um, Michael, uh, Jesus Magnus, his name is Magnus. Hey, you got it, Gloria. I remembered, I remembered. How are you, Leslie? She says, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And Jesus Magnus says, you also are our rock well i wouldn't i don't know but thank you for the love and encouragement gloria well i do love you very much i do love you very much and jesus loves you and it seems like he, he gives me a lot of the holy spirit gives me a lot a word for you i'm going to scope in a bit about abuse okay sweetheart okay well hello to you you too okay everybody can interact so pastor gloria is going to read my read my devotional i just got off the scope about joel osteen really so did he open up his mega church for for the the people there in Houston? Thanks for coming by. So what's been on your heart? What's been on your heart lately? What's been on my heart lately is the the flooding. The flooding. I don't I don't agree. I don't agree when that. I think I think he did. You think he opened up that his his uh, mega church? I hope that he did. I hope he did. I really do. I hope. I hope that he did. You know. So, all right. I'm now. I'm going to read my devotional. I'm going to read my devotional. Anytime, beautiful friend. It was a. It was an atheist. Oh, really, Leslie? An athe It was an atheist scope. Wow. Wow. Well, I, I believe we have the same color hearts. Yeah, those are pretty. Thank. Thank you. And hearts for Jesus. But. Um, I believe a sore of seed joined. Well, hello, Michelle. Bless your heart, honey. I'm glad you joined. But I believe this was this has been a, a major wake up call. I'm glad Michelle joined. And Yvette joined. Well, bless your heart, my Yvette. Oh, uh, I sang. Um, go back and watch the replay too, Yvette. I sang just a closer walk with thee. Why aren't my father's coming left leg quickly? Yeah, because Joel Osteen is a is a prosperity gospel. He's he's prosperity and a motivational speaker. That guy was wrong about the scripture I shared. Okay, and thank you, Michael, for inviting followers, sweetie. Okay, okay, you guys can interact if you don't mind. I, I'm going to read my my devotionals. Okay, I'm going to read my devotionals. I love you too, Yvette, so very much. You were wonderful on your scope. You were wonderful on that scope, and I, it touched me. It touched my heart. It touched my heart. So, alrighty. Again, Michelle, I'm glad I'm glad that you joined. Oh, I love you all. Just so much love. So much love. And again, I've met so many wonderful people. I don't like Joe Lowe's team, but Jesus can't judge. Jesus can't judge. I just stay away and pray. That's true. We all have to pray for him, for him and, and his wife, Victoria. We have to pray for them. Didn't mean to add Jesus. I know. I know, sweetheart. I know. Yes, um, we watched Joe Lowe's team years ago. We watched him years ago, and I, 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 so I just started feeling something wasn't just something wasn't quite right. Something wasn't quite right. Are you sure you look real to me? Laugh out loud. Oh, meant I can't judge. Exactly. We we only have one judge, and that's God. 
the autocorrect struggle. About. Yes, I know that autocorrect. I correct. I get aggravated too. God has to expose. Yes, in the last last days, Leslie. Yes, we are in the last days. And like I said a while ago, I think that this this hurricane is a major wake up call. I love Joel Austin. He is my friend, Michael. I do. I love Joel Osteen too, and I, I know what you mean. I mean, I mean, I love him too. We just have to keep him in prayer. Are you following me, love? All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna read my devotionals. You got. You guys can interact. Interact. But I'm gonna read. Okay. Okay. Pastor Gloria is gonna read. All right. I'm gonna start it over. I just can't. I just can't with Joel. Well, we have to love everybody, and we have to keep. We have to. Pray for everybody. We have to lift people up to the Lord. Go ahead, love bug. Oh, Nicole, she's she's really sweet. I'm so glad Michelle joined. I'm so glad you joined, honey. So many people have, have joined. And like I say, you know, we have to love one another, lift one another up, pray for one another, be kind to one another, and show more love. That came to me in a big way the other day. We have to show more love. And not be not be so judgmental. Not be so judgmental. So, all right. I'm now. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. We don't deserve to be tried by fire, so that we can make it to the kingdom. Yes, it's not easy. It isn't easy. It isn't easy being a minister. I've said this. It's not easy being a minister. It's very well rewarding, and though and God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. He's a rewarder, and our jobs aren't easy. I mean, I. I hate his ways, but I have to love because Jesus told us to. Yes, Michael, I know that's what you meant, honey. I know that's what you meant. That's my son-in-law. For people that don't know, that's my son-in-law. Okay, now I'm going to read. Oops, haha. I'm going to read. So you guys can interact, but I'm going to read my my devotionals, or I'll, or I'll be on here until two or three o'clock in the morning. So we don't judge any devotion, but we know them by their fruits. By their fruits. All right. Open doors and adversaries. Okay, a wide door for effective ministry has opened for me. Just yet many opposed me. And that's 1 Corinthians 16, 9. 16, 9. But I still, I still want you to, hear, I want you to hear, hear these, though, too, while you interact. All right. Open doors of service may also let in adversaries. Paul had many of both. As Paul wrote to the Corinthians from Ephesus, he was trying to determine where to, get, to go next. He chose to remain longer in Ephesus because of the open doors of service God granted him, knowing that God had opened the doors of ministry. Paul was not going to leave, regardless of how many enemies he faced. Paul was not going to leave. He wasn't going to leave. We might assume that Paul would reach the opposite conclusion. In light of the, of the opposition he faced, he could have concluded that it was best to serve in less hostile regions. Instead, Paul based his decisions on God's activity rather than on what people were doing. What people were doing. Yep, good info. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Are you, as you respond to God's invitations, don't be caught by surprise when adversaries try to thwart what you are doing. Boy, isn't that, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? If you, concern, if you concentrate on your opponents, you will be sidetracked from God's activity. Don't base your decisions on what people are doing. Yes, me too. I needed this too. It says, don't base your decisions on what people are doing. They cannot prevent you from carrying out God's will. They cannot prevent you from carrying out God's will. And that's Romans 8.31. Romans 8.31. Yes. Many... Many times the most rewarding spiritual work is done in the, in the crucible of persecution and opposition. Persecution and opposition. And we, we will be persecuted, laughed at, mocked for Jesus. We will be. Wow. While Paul was in Ephesus, a riot broke out in reaction to his ministry. The city theater resounded with an angry mob who shouted for two hours in support of their God. Great is Diana of Ephesians. Acts 19, Acts chapter 19, verses 23 through 41. Gloria, Gloria, last night I was getting laughed at and had adversaries last night in my scope. Well, you, you just, you just, yeah, and you will be. If you talk about, if you talk about Jesus, you will be. 
verses 34 and 36. And you will, we will be. Okay, despite this fierce rejection of the gospel, Ephesus became one of the chief cities from which the gospel spread throughout Asia. It takes spiritual discernment to see beyond human activity to God's will. It takes spiritual discernment to see beyond human activity to God's will. As you seek places of service, look beyond what people are saying to find what God is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, look beyond what people are saying to find what God is doing. That was a wonderful word. I'm going to read the one for yesterday. Being that I didn't get on here yesterday, I'm going to read it, okay? Because he's got you. Yes, God's got this. And he, yes, yes. I want to watch your scope is the name here. Okay, I needed this, Gloria. Thank you. I think maybe we all, maybe some of, some of us did. Now, this one from yesterday is humble yourself. We must be humble. We, we must be humble. Okay. For everyone who exalts himself will be humble. And the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Yes. Yes, slow to speak. Yes. Let me hear. Love you. There are, two, there are two ways to attain high esteem. Two ways to, to attain high esteem. One is the world's method. Take every opportunity to promote yourself before others. Seize occasions for recognition and manipulate your way into the center of attention. The other way, the other way is God's way. I love it. I'm going to, I'm going to read this again. i got to read this again. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Good night, Michelle. I love you, honey. I'm so glad you joined. Kisses and hugs to you. Kisses and hugs. Glory, it's because I was being challenged to be by my own friends and Christians. Yeah, and you know, sometimes we have we have to... Let go of some people, Nicole. We have to let go. If, 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 if people are going to take us down, we have to let go. We have to let them go. Like Sister Jackie says, put them in the balcony and love them from a distance. It really made me think I might be, I might be wrong. Put them in the balcony and love them from a distance. That's what we have to do because a, a lot of our, our friends here, well, hello, Curlis. Hello. God bless you. But... Some of our friends that we had, that we've had for years, that aren't Christians, that aren't Christians. Sometimes we have to, we have to let them go. If it weren't, if if we if we aren't butting heads with the devil, then we are going the same way. That's right. That's right. Gone bombshell. Love 123. Join. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Your gorgeous souls for following me. Put them on in the back. Yes, put them in the balcony and love them from a distance. Pray for them. But we have to separate. We can't be, we come out of this world. We're not a part, once we accept Jesus into our hearts, we're not a part of this world anymore. And we cannot, we cannot associate with unbelievers, in other words. Love them, love them dearly. But don't, Gloria, remember we were talking about the signs of God's warnings. Yes, yes, I do remember that. And love them from a distance. No, so true. Yes, it is, Leslie. Clem Cora joined. Well, hello. Welcome to my scope. And temp she said, Mom Shell says temporary home. This is just a temporary home. Yes. They say that are that they are Christians and they don't agree with me. They won't. They'll say anything. And I'll tell you, uh, let me tell you something else too. And I'm going to say this as sweet as I can. I love you. I don't look at the outward appearance. They said God wouldn't bring, bring harm on people. I don't look at the outward appearance, <clears throat> but I must say this. I must say this, okay, Nick, Nikki, Nicole. I love you very much, and I must say this: the way we present ourselves when we're around other people, like the way we dress. I could have many scriptures where God orders judgment. It's a tough subject in these times, as the books are being revealed to some more than others. I love you too, babe. But we have to watch the way we have to watch what we what we wear. Sometimes God works slow. God works slow with us. Like I told you the other day, God is molding you. God, Gloria, hun, I have no money to buy clothes. That's that's fine. But I'm just I'm just telling you, sweetheart. God is molding you. He's molding you. We wear, we dress, how we talk. We wear, we dress, how we talk. He does work through me to save people. 
Yes, I know. He's using you. Yes, I, that's, what I, that's what I was going to say. He's using you. He is using you. Yes. But I just wanted to give you that little bitty tidbit. Any, any little thing that you can do to, for one thing, not show as much cleavage. Because, see, that attracts the, the spirit, the Jezebel spirit, the spirit of lust. That, in, that attracts the spirit of lust. And Curtis enjoyed it, invited followers. Well, thank you for inviting followers. Thank you. Now, I, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I mean, I didn't mean that against you, sweetheart. Nothing against you. If you could just kind of just, yes, please, because I wouldn't want to upset you for nothing in the world, honey, because I love you. It's California, and I don't have much, don't have much clothes. I understand that, honey. I understand that. But I just, your situation is temporary. Yes. Good, good word, Michael. I'm going through chemo now and still, still find joy. But, but bless your heart. Bless your heart. My, 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 my. Leslie says, scarf. I don't, I don't, what you mean on Jezebel's if running rampant, sinking in when it can devour for sure. Yes, the Jezebel, and, and there's many types of Jezebel spirit. There's many types of Jeze, the Jezebel spirit. Actually, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Sometimes it's kind of hard for me to word things. I didn't want to make this about me. It's not, honey, it's not. I just wanted, wanted to tell to, to try to, yes, the, the scarf covers. Yeah, just kind of just drape yourself with a really pretty scarf. Would it tell girls to dress modestly? Yes, honey, yes. Like I say, it wasn't it wasn't aimed towards you in a bad way, honey. Uh, but you are a wonderful girl, and you you have the Lord in you. I can see the Lord in you. I can. Most of us that know you can see Jesus in you. The the true believers of the Lord, we see the Lord in you. I understand. I've just been under so much attack lately so I'm tender I know honey I know if you wake up during the night pray for others yes yes and I do actually did the scripture that I sent you thank God yes thank God yes um, I don't know how long that Nicole's been a Christian I, you know a, I'll say a believer I, I don't say Christian too much anymore I say believer no I didn't sorry your your lighthouse your lighthouse but I love I, I love Nikki very much. I, I I haven't known her very long, Yvette. I haven't known her very long, but she's a very very dear girl, and she knows what she's talking about. And she, she's trying to win. Yes, since I was fourteen, but walking with him the last five years. That's wonderful, sweetheart. Yes, just encouragement. Yes, yes, Michael. Yes, yes. So yes, Psalms one one forty seven three. Thank you. Love. God bless. Yes. I got your back. If the scriptures say it, then you're good. Yes. Yes. Like I said, I just felt that I should I should just mention it. I mean, just little things you can do. Little things you can do. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. I just quoted that in my last scope. Quote, quote scripture. Quote scripture. I say Psalms 147.3 a lot. God bless you more and more abundantly. Yes. Yes, Michael. Yes. And I would never say, and Michael knows this too, I would, and Yvette knows this, I would never say or do anything to to, to, to hurt someone. Never. N not intentionally hurt someone. Never. I would never, I'm not like that. I'm not that way. That was just, a, the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring a few things our lives are a journey that Jesus puts us in for a reason, maybe to bless others. Yes, yes, yes. And Shelly915 drawing. Well, hello, Shelly. Welcome to my scope. And I'm Pastor Gloria. Sister, we are supposed to tell what is edifying. That's right. I do. I guess if, if others don't like me, then they don't laugh. Well, it's fine. That's true because we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to lose people. Guard your testimony. Yes, yes. Let you respect and understand. Yes, Pastor, you're doing the right thing. Well, I felt that the Holy Spirit wanted me wanted me to bring it up, to bring it up. What do you mean by that? But thank you. But He wanted me to, to bring that up. I want to hear the truth, Leslie says. That's just what the Bible tells us to do to help uh, each other and edify in what would make their walk easier. Yes, 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 Ryan. That's funny how I remembered your name, Ryan. Yes, Amen, Amen. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish. Let's see. Okay, I already finished that. Oh, yeah, I was reading the other one about humbling yourself. Becomes master at mending a wisdom saying by Mark Murdoch. When you go through a trial that, that can be used to help others, Satan will come. Yeah, that's true. That's, against that, I, I appreciate it. Against that testimony, we have to help others. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And we do it out of love, uh, Magnus. We do it out of love. Please follow. We can talk more to keep you from helping others deal with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish reading. Humble, humble your, humble yourself. Humble, humble yourself. Okay, um, <clears throat> humble yourself. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. <clears throat> I'm off to sleep. Love each one. Have you got an interview at 8 a.m. Great liner prayers, please. Yes, Michael. Yes. <clears throat> Good night. I love you very much. Give Brett and Jordan a, a hug. I love you guys. Find Satan. He will come to steal your joy. Yes, don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Congrats for the job. Yes, yes. Congratulations. He's going through. I think he's going for the interview. I think tomorrow. Yes, yes. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to start this one. I'm going to start this one over. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to start this one again. There are two ways to attain high esteem. One is the world's method. Now, now get this. One is the world's method. Take every opportunity to promote yourself before others. Seize occasions for recognition and manipulate your way into the center of attention. The other way is God's way. Humble yourself rather than striving for recognition and influential positions. Seek to put other seek to put others first. Cultivate humility, for it it does not come naturally. One of the many paradoxes of the Christian life is that when God sees your genuine humility, He exalts you. Yes, I say that too. He's got you. You're speaking truth. He exalts you. Proverbs sixteen eighteen warns that if we put our efforts into promoting ourselves. We will be brought down. Jesus told of a man who tried to enhance his own image. Luke 14, uh, verses 7 through 11. While attending a banquet, he immediately claimed the seat of honor. When the, the host saw this, he, he, he humiliated this man by asking him to move to the least honorable place to make room for a more distinguished guest. Jesus said the wise thing to do is to seek the lowest position and allow others to exalt you if they feel you are worthy. Yes. There is an enormous difference between the way the world honors you and the way God does. An enormous difference between the way the world honors you and the way God does. Proverbs 25, 7, 27 indicates that glory is not legitimate if you, if you seek it yourself. Exactly. If you seek it yourself. Exactly. Wow. When the world exalts you, you are the one who receives the credit. When God exalts you, others will praise Him for what He has done in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you honor God, He will honor you. And that's 1 Samuel 2.30. 1 Samuel 2.30. Because I'm lonely. I need to find my contentment in Christ. Yes. Yes. Strive to humble yourself and bring glory to God. Allow Him to be the uh, one to honor you in the way that pleases him. Thank you for that. I needed that. In the ways that pleases him. We don't we, we don't try to exalt ourselves. We we do things that honors God, that pleases God. Just keep strong and keep pressing in to see yourself as God sees you. Yes, Ryan, that's yes, yes. Do you have an e well, okay. Uh, honey, don't don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, sweetheart. And Mike Smith joined. Well, hello. Hello. Welcome to my scope. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. And God bless you. I'm just reading. I'm reading my devotionals. I'm reading my devotionals. God bless you. All right. That was this one. Now I'm going to do my Jesus. i got to stand up. Sorry about that. I have to stand up to get my other book. Jesus always. These are some pretty good ones, too. Today's date is the 28th. 
Sorry, I just don't. Just know I'm not worthy. Honey, n n nobody is worthy, sweetheart. None of us are wor worthy. We're not. We are as filthy rags. We come to him just as we are. Just as we are. And then he'll do the rest. Yes, we all struggle. We all do. And nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Jesus said, for I'm not alone, but my Father is with me. Exactly, Leslie. Yes. That's right. Nobody's worthy. Nobody is. Like I said, my world is crumbling, so getting correction while I'm down, I struggle. It's just overwhelming. I know it can be. It can be. Okay, today is the 28th. Okay. I'm going to read yesterday's. Get, get this. Get this, you guys. Get this. Yesterday was the 27th. I give strength to the weary and increase the power of the weak. And increase the power of the weak. So do not be discouraged by your weakness. I wanted to scope today, but Romans 8.28, about 8.28. Now, now listen, listen. There are many kinds of weaknesses, and no one is exempt from all of them. I use them to keep my loved ones humble and to train them to wait on me in trusting in de independence. Today's date, yes, August, August the 28th is, is today's date. I'm reading yesterday's the 27th. I have promised that those who wait on me will gain new strength. Those who wait on me, wait upon me. The Lord says, wait, he's, to, he's told me this. The Holy Spirit's told me this. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. My family and I have been all, all over God's creation looking for new locations to move to. And the Lord, it's like the, the Lord kept speaking. The Holy Spirit kept speaking to me. Wait upon me. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. And Meg 027, well, hello, Meg. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. But wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Thank you for inviting followers. All right. I have promised that those who wait on me will gain new strength. And I'm reading out of my Jesus Always, uh, my Jesus Always book. Kashmir joined. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. And God bless you. All right. This waiting is not meant to be practiced only sometimes. I designed you to look to me continually, knowing me as the living one who sees you always. Waiting on me is closely related to trusting me. Is to trusting me. If you don't know how to pray, just cry out to Jesus. Yes. I have trouble sometimes with that too, with, with praying. And do the Our Father prayer. You know, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. If you don't know what to pray, pray that. Or if you have the, the gift of tongues, Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Yeah, Leslie just now said it. Pray in tongues. Jesus have all the Jesus has all the answers. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right, let's see. Where, where was I here? Waiting on me is closely related to trusting me. The more time you spend focusing on me, the more you will trust me. And the more you trust me, the more you will want to spend time with me. Waiting on me in the midst of your moments also increases your hope in me. Yes, amen, Leslie. Yes. This hope blesses you in countless ways, lifting you above your circumstances, enabling you to praise me for the help of my presence. He already knows us inside and out. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay, uh, the verses to this one is Isaiah 40, 29, Isaiah 40, 30, and 31. Genesis 16, 14. Genesis 16, 14. Psalms 42, 5. All right, now the one for today. For, the one for today. All right, here we go. You are strengthening all scopers in God. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. All right, now the one for today. Ray Lear. The Irving join. Well, good evening. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. And God bless you. Curtis, Curtis joined again. Curtis joined again. Okay, today's. Read Romans 8, 26 to, through 29. Thank you, prophetess. Thank you, prophetess. Nicole needs all, all the encouragement. She's a very lovely girl. She's a very, very lovely girl. I love her dearly. I love her dearly. 
I told you God is speaking. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right, the devotional for today. I am with you and will watch over you what, wherever you go. Wherever you go. And, and Ryan had to join again. Hot Sauce had to, had to join again. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. There is an adventurous journey awaiting you and you're anticipating it with mixed feelings. Read it and get in your spirit. So you have a gift of encouragement for others. Okay, I need sleep, everyone. Be blessed. I'm glad you joined Block Bomb Bomb. What is your name? Uh, what is your name, honey? So I can I can remember your name. Be blessed, Leslie. You be blessed also, and I'm I'm glad that you joined. Oh, Jennifer, Jen. Okay, all right. I'm glad that you joined. Yes, I read it a lot. It's funny. God actually says believe. Eight twenty eight. Yes, Romans eight twenty eight. Okay. Good night, Leslie. God bless you, sweetheart. God bless you. Love you all. And I love you. I love everybody. That's why I was going to scope Romans 8, 28 today. All right. I'm going to go back to this. Let's uh, see. I'll start it over. I'll start it over. Pastor God is going to bless you. You are, you, you are building. I believe it too. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I believe it too. Yes, I believe it. I believe it too. Yes, I do. Arthur Bone King joined. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. I'm reading my devotionals. Jesus always. Reading my devotionals. All right. I'm going to start this one over again. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. There is an, a, there is an adventurous journey awaiting you and you're anticipating it with mixed feelings. In some ways, you are eager to step into this new adventure. You're even expecting to find abundant blessings along the way. However, part of you fears part of you fears leaving your comfortable, predictable routine. Suicide when he's trying to trust in Christ, in Christ. Trust in God, trust in God. Tr trust, in, trust in the Lord. Wow. However, part of you fears leaving your comfortable, predictable routine. We have to come out of our comfort zone. This word is for you, Arthur. We have to come out of our comfort zone. Comfort zone. I think you are. I think you. I really do need this. Please. Yes. Yes. Oh, Arthur lost his wife. She passed away. Oh my. Sometimes a person just gets at a loss for words. At a loss for words. And he has a son and is very suicidal. Oh my heavens. His suicidal thoughts are broken in the name of Jesus. Yes. Spirit of suicide broken in the name of Jesus. We bind. We all come into agreement right now. We all come into agreement right now. We bind the spirit of, of suicide. We bind it and we send it back to the pit of hell. We bind it and send it back to the pit of hell. The Lord's, God's word says, God's word says, what shall be bound in heaven shall be bound on earth, and what shall be loosed in heaven shall be loosed on earth. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke you, Satan. We rebuke you. We rebuke you. For it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You have no authority. You have no authority. Suicidal spirits, be gone in the name of Jesus. Suicidal spirits, be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. We give Jesus all the honor and the glory and the praise in his precious, precious, precious holy name, Lord. In your precious, precious holy name, we pray. And we give you all the honor and the glory in your precious, precious holy name. The devil's trying to take it. He's trying to kill, steal, and destroy. And he'll, go, he, he'll, he'll use anybody he can. He'll use anybody he can. The devil hates, the devil hates us. He hates us. He wants he wants our souls. He wants he wants people's souls. He wants people's souls. He's evil. He's a father of lies, a father of darkness. The father of darkness. He 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 even transformed himself to in, in an like an angel of light. On behalf of Jesus, I will try to awaken Arthur's wife. But he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Jess 
And Jessa joined. Well, hello, sweetheart. I'm glad you joined. And you already know I'm Pastor Gloria. This has been this has been a pretty good scope. Thanks for sharing this scope. Thank you. And thank yes, thank you. whoever joins the scope, whoever shares it, feel free to share it. I've always said if I if I could help can help just one one person. And I see Ryan Ryan joined again. That hot sauce. His name is Ryan. Thank you, Yvette, honey, for, for pumping me the hearts. Thank you very much, hearts for Jesus. I love you very much, Yvette. My, my, my. And thank you, Meg, for, for, for sharing on Twitter, honey. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm just, I'm reading my devotionals. And, you know, Pastor Gloria don't have, I don't have everything right. Nobody does. No, Nobody has it all right. And we are all sinners saved by grace. Sinners saved by grace. You know, and we have to lift one another up, pray for each other. Be kind to one another, you know, and, and show love. Love is the greatest commandment of all. Love is the greatest commandment of all. God bless you all. Thank you. I don't feel alone because I have her spirit. There you go. You you have you have you'll always have her with you. Thanks for the enjoyable fellowship as always. And thank you, Ryan. Thank you for, for coming on my scope. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All right. I'm gonna get back to get back to my devotional. Let's see. When fearful thoughts, when fearful thoughts assail you, remind yourself that I will be watching over you constantly. Ephesians 6, 11, 11 and twelve. Yes. I will be watching over you constantly. Wherever you are, the comfort of my presence is a forever promise. Your best preparation for the journey ahead is practicing my presence each day. Tell yourself frequently, Jesus is with me. Jesus is with me. Taking care of me. I have prayed now. Actually, wait, I'm still around for a while. Taking good care of me. Visualize yourself holding it to my hand as you walk. Visualize holding it to Jesus' hand while, while we walk. Visualize it. I can visualize it. Wow. Trust me, your guide. Let, let him be our guide. Let him be our guide. Uh, Linda J. joined. Well, hello. Hello. Welcome to my scope. Thank, Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome to my scope and God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. I'm Pastor Gloria. Yes. Visualize yourself holding it to my hand as you walk. I'm reading my devotionals. My devotionals. Trust me, your guide, to show you the way forward as you go step by step. I have a perfect sense of direction, so don't worry about getting lost. Relax in my presence and rejoice in the wonder of sharing your whole life with me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And thank you all for the beautiful hearts. Hearts for Jesus. Always hearts for Jesus. <clears throat> and th these are, this is Genesis. My phone keyboard messes up sometimes, so I have to sleep and open it again so it works laugh out loud. Okay. Okay, the, the, the verses to this is Genesis 28, 15. Perkins joined. Well, hello, Perkins. Welcome to my scope. God bless you. I'm Pastor Gloria. I'm Pastor Gloria. Joshua, that's Genesis 28, 15. Joshua 1, 9. And Psalms 48, 14. Okay, now that, that was that one. I've got one more. I've got one more. One more to read. I've got one more. I hate to have to get up here right in there. <clears throat> this one is your best you ever your best you ever that's that's my other one pastor where are, where are you from just wondering i'm from illinois i'm from illinois right now and looks like we're going to be here in illinois for a while i don't know what how long whenever the lord whatever the lord it wherever the lord leads Mar marla join well hello i'm pastor gloria welcome to my scope and god bless you God bless you. I'm, I'm reading my devotionals. <clears throat> okay, Pastor. Where are you from, may I ask? May I ask? Really do thank you guys for this. Now I can sleep in peace. Don't feel alone and take care of, of my son. Sweet. Wait, may sweet. You have a sweet Jesus peaceful night's sleep tonight. Oh, Pueblo, Colorado. Okay, okay. Have a sweet Jesus, peaceful sleep. May all the angels surround you. May all the angels surround you tonight. Sweet Jesus, 
sleep. And thank you for the rose. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Now, this is July the 28th. Now, I didn't read yesterday's <clears throat> July. I meant August. Arthur, God bless you and your family. Yes, God bless you and your family. August 28th. Sometimes I, sometimes I get August 28th. <clears throat> I love reading these devotionals. I love reading. And like Yvette said on, on her scope this afternoon, sometimes the Lord takes you to other to other devotionals. He's done it to me. He's done it with me like the other day when I was reading about right right before right before the uh, the hurricane came. I was reading. I think it was it was it Thursday. I was reading. Um, Andy Ray Born. Well, he, Ray Born joined. Well, hello. I'm, I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. But I was reading um, one devotional, and the, the Lord took me to another one for, for two days later. It was about redeeming the time, sis, do you, do you, do you music? <clears throat> but it was for two days later. Redeem the times for their evil. And the Lord wanted me to read that two days before. Or I mean, two, yeah, two days before that, he wanted me to read that. And that's what Sister Yvette, what happened to her. The Lord wanted her to read a, a certain, yes, yeah, he, he does. I, he, he speaks to us. He speaks to us through these devotionals and, of course, through, through God's Word, through God's Word. Amazing. Yes, Meg. Yes, it is. All right, now, let's see. This is the 28th. This is the 28th. I'm going to read the 27th for yesterday because I, I didn't read yesterday's. See, I don't read these until I get on here. I, I never read these until I get on scope. You know, I never I never read these. So, <clears throat> I'm going to read yesterday's first. Above and beyond our circumstances. Should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? And that's Job 2.10. And that's Job 2.10. Hot rocks. Uh, eyes join. Well, hello. Well, welcome to my scope. This is a holy scope. And God bless you and welcome to my scope. I'm Pastor Gloria. Okay, I'm going to read this part again. Should we accept only good things from the hand of God and never anything bad? That's Job 2.10. And you, we all know what happened with Job. Job lost it all. He lost it all, but he never, gave, he never gave up. He never gave up. He never gave up. Okay, all of us face difficult days. So glad I caught this. I got to go put my son to sleep and read him a story. God bless you all. God bless you all, and I'm so glad that you joined. I, I hope that you do feel better. I, I hope that you feel... It's going to take time. It's going to take some time. You, we, all, you, you, we all have to go through the grieving, the grieving part. It's healing. It's healing. We have to go through the grieving, the grieving part. Yes. Okay, good night. Good night. All right. <clears throat> Yes, yes, but he will be there. He will be there. He will be there to comfort you. He's there. He's there with you to comfort you. He's there for you, to comfort you. All right. And that, like I said, that's in reference to Job two, two ten. All of us face difficult days. Sometimes even the most devout Christians become discouraged, and you are no exception. That's right. That's right. After all, you live in a world where expectations can be high and demands can be even higher. If you find yourself enduring difficult circumstances, remember that God remains in, in his heaven. If you become discouraged with the direction of your day or your life, turn your thoughts and prayers to him. Yes, he is a God of possibility, not negativity. He will guide you through your difficulties and beyond them. Yes, when you realize that your circumstances your circumstances, no matter how overwhelming or pressing, are ruled by a king who seeks your highest good, you can truly consider it all joy. Yes, praise the Lord, hallelujah. When you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, our, our, faith, is our faith is tested. Our faith is tested. Our faith is tested. For you... That you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. James chapter 1, verses 2, 2 through 4. And Charles Swindoll said that. Pastor, please pray. I miss my mom. 
Mom, she's been gone 11 years, and I miss her dearly all 11 years. I, I, my mother's been gone since 1999. I miss her more, more and more every day. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna bring. Now, who was this again? I, I forgot who this was. Yes, I'm in the testing. Yes, Jessa. Yes, I forgot who that was that that lost her mother nine years ago. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Peace that surpasseth all understanding. Peace that surpasseth all understanding. Well, now's my time. Now's my time to read. I'm going to read Psalms 91. I'm going to read Psalms 91. I just felt that I should read Psalms 91 to help. To, to help. Amen. Yes, to help because it's 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 hard when you when you lose your parent, it's very very hard. It's very hard, Pastor. It's me, Curlis. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. I'm going to read Psalm 91, sweetie. All right. It says, "He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty." Try to awaken her in Jesus' name. Maybe all all your moms. Yeah, it's it's very sad. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and the, and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I am the walrus. One one five. Join. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. This is a holy scope. God bless you. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that new day. Oh. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But he shall not come nigh thee. Yah, the, the Holy Spirit told me... I felt the Holy Spirit wanted me to read Psalms 91 right then. Psalms 91. Only with thine eyes shalt thou read, behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Praise the Lord. Yes. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Shall I, I deliver him? I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Absolutely. Yes. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my my salvation wow praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord it's always good to read psalms 91 it help it helps with with grieving it helps with grieving you know letting us know that god is with us god is with us to protect us you know with all this stuff that's going on or other stuff that's going on in the world god is still there with us to protect us do you deal do you deal with music? Yes, do you deal with music? Oh, you're asking. Okay. My, my, my. I'm going to read Psalms 23. Be blessed in Jesus' name. I'm going to read Psalms 23. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's going on 12, 1230? Oh, my. I didn't know it was getting that, that late. Amen. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help too. Maybe that'll help. God loves you. And you know we're, you know we're going to see our loved ones again. You know that, don't you? We're going to see our loved ones again. We're going to see them again. The Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Love to you. Psalms 23 are good. Yes, yes. Yes, Magnus, yes. 
He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes, yes. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Wow. My, 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 my. That's something. It's something how the Lord gives us certain, certain scriptures to read. Certain scriptures to read. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We give, we, we give him all the honor and the glory and the praise in his precious, precious holy name. May we all find comfort through, through, this, through these perilous times, through these end times, because we are in, that, in the last days. We have God's word. We have God's word, and we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. We have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us once we give our lives to Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit in a, within us. And His Word, His Word, His Word. Last born, last, last born tr Trini join. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Gloria. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the Lord's Prayer. And I'm going to go ahead and get off here because it's late and people are wanting to get to bed. I'm going to get on here earlier tomorrow. We had a busy day, to, really busy day today. I thank thank you for all the beautiful hearts, hearts for Jesus, always hearts for Jesus, and never to glorify Pastor Gloria is to glorify my Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ, who strengthens who strengthens me, who strengthens us, who strengthens us. I want to show you one more thing before I, I do the Lord's prayer. I got me some more reading glasses today, and. I didn't get I didn't get strong enough ones. These are my purple ones, and most of you know that I love purple, but I can't read. I didn't get. They're not strong enough. But anyway, I, I can still do the Lord's prayer, and I love you one and all. Love him. Thank you, Jess. I do too. I there, there's only a dollar piece at, at the at the at the Dollar Tree, dollar piece. Palnation join. Well, hello. I'm Pastor Gloria. Welcome to my scope. I'm going to be getting off here in a few minutes. I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer. So bow your heads with me and let's do the Lord's Prayer. Let's do the, we're going to do the Lord's Prayer. Okay. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. And to God be the glory. To God be the glory. And remember, remember, we, we must put on the, the whole armor of God. The breastplate of, the, the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the whole, the whole armor of God. The breastplate of righteousness. And the helmet of salvation. And... Take up the shield. Take up his shield. Take up the shield to be able to, to come against the wiles of the devil. Because he seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. He seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. So, thumbs up. Eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must be right. And this hurricane is a wake-up call. This hurricane is a major wake-up call. Amen. A major wake-up call. So, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I love you very much. Pray for the pray for the ones in Texas and any of the others that that this hurricane has affected. Good night, sweet Jesus, peaceful sleep. Yes, Yvette. Sweet Jesus, peaceful night sleep. And Nancy that just joined, go over and watch my replay, honey. I'm getting ready to, to go sign out for the night. I love you all. So very, very much, and I'll be back on tomorrow. It's just the beginning of repentance. doesn't take a big upturn in the nation. That's right. A call to, a call to repentance. A call to repentance. A major wake-up call. A call to repentance. Yes. So go back and watch my replay. So Pastor Gloria loves you one and all, and hugs and kisses to you all. All righty. God bless you. Good night for tonight. Good, good night.